Hi guys and welcome to another video. I was going to upload this video last week but we had no Wi-Fi in my house for about three weeks so unfortunately I couldn't upload anything which was really annoying. But anyway, here I am. In this video I'm just going to talk about my packaging process for orders that I get through my Etsy shop or from my website. In this first clip I'm just writing my Lottie Louise signature onto a printed piece of paper which has a little thank you note on it and it, usually I also put on there a 10% off discount code for their next order on my website. I just print these off by myself at home and I slip one into each of the parcels. I also write my signature in silver gel pen onto some blank oval stickers which I put on the tissue paper onto each of the items inside the package. I'd love to get some proper professional stickers made one day, but for now to keep my cost low I just create them on my own and it just gives everything my own personal little touch. I also print out some mini copies of my pet portrait price list to put into each of my parcels. The reason I do this is so that if someone buys something from my Etsy shop for example, they probably won't be aware that I even do pet portraits, as most of the listings on my Etsy are just my hand-painted wooden decorations, so it's just a good way of letting people know more about me and what it is that I do. Again, I just make these myself and print them off and then just cut them, cut them down to size and put them into the parcels. As well as putting the discount code and price list into the parcels, I also include a business card which has all my contact details website and all my social media accounts onto it so that my customers have a way of contacting me if they want to. I wrap each item individually in tissue paper and then I seal them with one of my handwritten oval stickers. I find this just makes opening the parcels more exciting and special when things are individually wrapped. I also quite enjoy doing it as well. <laughs> Usually when packaging up my orders, I like to lay them out all on the floor and then I put um, all, like the business cards and the price list on top of each order in a pile and then I just sit on the floor and I package them all up. Once I've weighed them and everything, I then print out all the postage labels together and then stick them onto the front of the parcels. I think before I started selling quite a lot online, I didn't realise how long the packaging process would take. So here I packaged, out a bin, packaged up about 10 orders and it took me about an hour and a half to get them all ready. It doesn't sound like too long but considering the fact that most of the packaging is done during the week in the evenings when I'd probably otherwise be just relaxing watching TV, it does take quite a lot of time up. I do really enjoy packaging things up though, you just get such a sense of accomplishment and it's really satisfying seeing the pile of parcels at the end of it. Don't get me wrong, not every week do I have such a large pile of parcels. It really does vary from week to week. So some weeks I only get one to two orders, some weeks I get more than ten. It's just completely random. But I do appreciate every single order I get though, no matter how small it is. If you have a small creative business, please feel free to leave any of your social media links or website links in the description below as I'd love to check out all of your creations. This year I'm going to be buying Christmas cards and all that from small businesses and other artists because I want to support others and help to keep everyone going, especially when things are tough like they are right now. Here in the UK we're heading into another lockdown which is going to make things so difficult for already struggling businesses and I'd love to play my part in supporting them and keeping them going. On my second Instagram account this week, I'm joining in with the Meet the Maker Week 2020, which was created by Joanne Hawker on Instagram. I'll link her account in the description below so that you can check it out and participate in it too. It only started today, so it isn't too late to join in. Each day for the first week in November, there's a different prompt each day to create a post about on Instagram. Today's prompt was say hello, where you can just write anything about yourself so everyone can get to know you a little bit more. I think these meet the maker challenges are a great way for makers to get to know other makers and creative people and it builds up a little community over on Instagram. I'll link both of my Instagram accounts in the description too so that you can check out my posts and hopefully get to know a little bit more about me and what I do. In March, she also runs a um, March Meet the Maker, which goes on for the whole of March. So I did that last year, so that might be a good thing to consider if you want to see, find out about other people's businesses or even just share yours a little bit more. 
please let me know if you enjoy these types of businessy type videos. If not, please let me know what you'd like to see from me over here on my YouTube. At the moment, it's hard for me to find the time to create videos as Christmas is such a busy time with pet portraits and shop orders, but 100% in the new year, I'm going to be focusing more on my YouTube and get a proper routine and upload schedule going. If you'd like to see more from me, please like the video and subscribe, and then hopefully you won't miss out on any of my future videos. I'll speak to you soon. Bye guys!